Hi, I'm John Paul Francis Taylor. Welcome to Road Tripping. With me is Anna Coey. Anna Coey, hello. And we're in St. Pete, Florida again, and we stopped by the Cider Press Cafe, which is a vegan restaurant. Vegan, gluten-free, I and believe organic. Anna's been wanting me to mm -hmm. eat more veggies, and everywhere we've eaten, they have had very good veggie options, but this place is all veggie. raw vegan. So uh, what impressed me were some things that, of course, I like bacon. They have a coconut bacon and an eggplant bacon, mm -hmm. which they, um, they take the eggplant, they slice it up, they dehydrate it, and then what was the finishing touch there? Did they say... I'm sure there's just spices. Why don't you uh, walk and talk here? Grab something. Okay, so here's the menu. You can read the options that we, you know. So we went for an avocado BLT. The uh, eggplant is the acting bacon. Uh, looks like we are starting with a corn chowder, which came as a side item with our sandwich. Here's came a good photo of the corn chowder. Without spilling it? Oh, wow, you got close. Um, highly recommended by the uh, staff there, the corn chowder. Shall I? Looks like it's top of the pico de gallo. Yeah, little plaid napkins. Lovely. Mmm, it's a cold soup. And I also got a mother wow. kabucha um, coconut. Um, kabucha is a fermented tea, and mother kabucha is in St. Pete. They've been doing very well um, all around St. Pete, getting in in bars and which you know they have them on draft so a lot of people are are really loving the kabucha in a bar which is amazing in fact there's a lot of tea bars in st pete st pete um, yeah you know and this is a coconut it's very good it, it tastes like they literally ran it through coconut like they got some dried coconut and they just ran it through it like a randall of some kind this is fantastic. Um, there's lots of uh, spices, seasonings in there. Um, I would venture to say that there's probably some curry in there. It is full of flavor. You've got some crunchy uh, corn and the pico. Um, it's creamy, which I'm sure uh, is, you know, the starch from the corn. You know, they're not adding cream to it, obviously. It's vegan. This is awesome. It's cold. It would be good, hot or cold for that matter. So well, let's uh, pack it up. I'm going to take it home and it oh is my very gosh. good. It's really good. I'm going to definitely say it's more curry, curry corn chowder. It's, it's got a curryness mm -hmm. to it. Not a lot, but I love curry. But um, it's definitely yeah. got that earthy, earthy curry. All right, I'm change that out with, with that. So this is what? Oh, this is slaw. Slaw came with one of the other things. Looks like some kind of, oh, this is a uh, shredded yes. toasted coconut on top. Thank you. Looks like corn, tomatoes. Wait, this is not slaw. This is corn. What are we eating? <laughs> is this the corn? What is that corn? Maybe this is what came with the crab cake. Well, it's I like corn, so corn's my favorite. Mm-hmm. That has a lot of the, what's in the soup? Same kind of spice flavors. There's a little more, I think it's like a little cayenne. I like to put the two together. Of course you would. Here's the corn. It's a side of corn, I guess. They're, they're calling it... Um, I think this is their slaw, though. It looks like slaw. It's corn may... <laughs> Maco Cho. Oh, I know wow. this is Cho. It's a French thing. Corn Maco Cho. Um, that's what that is. And okay. that's, that's the toasted so that comes with coconut the, on okay. top. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put that on the Very side. Very similar to the soup. Go into this. Let's see. So this is our crab cake. It's not crab. It is... Um, they call it uh, riced because uh, you put the jicama through a ricer and gives you these uh, flaky bits. Pretty interesting looking. Um, it's and maybe fried onions on top. Looks Absolutely. like and a little dipping sauce. So we've seen a lot of stuff in 
we're calling it the crab cake. I feel like we shouldn't even get the hickam up cake, people. Well, so what do you think of... Um, Jill's herder sauce. What do you think when they try to... Yeah, they're do... calling eggplant bacon. They're calling right. hickam th- crab. What do you think of that? So I understand they're trying to make... Like, they, they, you know, Familiar they foods. want to put crab cakes on the menu, but how do we take the crab out of it to make it vegan? So that's, I get that. Yeah. I mean, I just remember the Garden Burger when that came out. It wasn't even close to a Garden Burger. They could have just called it a Garden Patty. But marketing-wise, Garden Burger was more popular, I guess. And it was oats, and it wasn't even... Now they make a, uh, a Garden Burger that's more beef-like, but... Hmm. <laughs> it's um, it's cold. You know they're not seared, so just to not give you a wrong impression, because you know, um, there's tons of stuff in there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna venture to say maybe some seaweed or kelp. I saw kelp on the menu. Um, I was gonna say quinoa, but I don't think that's it. There's diced bell peppers, probably onions, because like there's a nice little veggie crunch going on. Some kind of binder. I am I am lost on this one. I have no idea how they did this. Except the hickam, I understand they ran through the ricer. A dill cream cheese, which has no dairy in it. So um, I'm I don't have a lot of experience like in substituting uh, vegan. Right. You know, so I don't know all the tricks. Well, I'm impressed. It is. Crab cake esque. I'm gonna try it by itself. I feel like it's not. It, it's like when you get to that final note after swallowing. I kind of I'm picking up like I don't know because you got this image of crab cake in your head. Right. And well, that's what I'm saying. What? Why? You know, why call it a crab cake when it, it tastes like, like you said, a hickama salad is. I guess if it was me, I would call it this is good. jicama. What was this? Dill cream cheese. Dill cream. Oh, dill tartar is what it is. I'm a sucker for sauces, so. Now, but, was, you know, what, if there's what, no is, eggs. Is this the uh, avocado ba- or the um, eggplant bacon on top? Uh-huh. I don't know. I thought it was like fried onions. Yeah, that... This is good. Again, you know, tastes like onions. One of my favorites is the Morning Star ribs. Those little ribs they have, that sauce is amazing. But and it's got the texture and look of a sort of a you know not great rib, but it's very good. So you know the, the whole what question. What's that made out of? Soy. It's soy. Yeah, it's a Morning Star product. You know, um, but I love it. The sauce in there is just amazing. So you know, it's just like you said. You know why. You know, you, you're trying to have use your imagination to right. think of like, oh, this is a crab cake. This is good. I just don't get the crab part. Yeah, I probably wouldn't call it that. But um, I'm digging it. <laughs> I'm digging it. Yeah. It's very good. I wonder. I'm sure they tried what would happen if you uh, seared it. That's what I would be interested to see. And I want to know what their binder is. What do they use as their binder? I'm trying to think what could it possibly. Right. Um, yeah, so we should move on to the next thing. Throw that in there. We'll be eating that later. Uh-huh. Alright, you want the BLT or the pad thai? Whatever. Whatever's on top, put two hands. Right. The pad thai. Pad thai. Now it. With the edible orchid flower. Let me get a good shot of that. These boxes are... Everybody uses these boxes in St. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pad thai with the noodles or what, zucchini? zucchini. We got crumbled peanuts. I'm assuming that's what those are. And it looks like there's rice noodles. I'm seeing bell pepper, yellow squash, and pineapple. What's so this? you're supposed to toss it in the sauce? Is that the idea? Cabbage. Ooh, this is. This is like a 
Are you are you just supposed to make Pond sure Zoo sauce or something? Well, yeah, because it's undressed. So. You throw this in. I guess so. Looks like a Pond Zoo sauce or something. All right, you want to use the whole thing, but. So, this is it. I can taste it. It's, it's a roasted red bell pepper. You got two fork action going on. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to hand you one. <laughs> yeah, look at me. <laughs> What's going on? I think this is meant to be like the. It's kind of. Oh, and peanut. That's what that is. A roasted red bell pepper peanut. I could taste it. Try it. Gotta get it all mixed up. So, when I mean, you mix it, it looks like there's some. Uh, is that pineapple on the bottom or yeah, bell peppers? Yeah, pineapple, and... yellow squash, zucchini, that's what I've seen. Um, I'm maybe we got the sauce on the side because it was to go, because it's, I don't know, I kind of wish it came dressed already. So is you everything... You want to dress it with that sauce as well? or? Oh, is everything in the restaurant raw? Yeah. Oh, that's why everything's cold. <laughs> this is a raw vegan restaurant. Do you want to just put that sauce in there? Maybe some. I was gonna. Okay, put... so that sauce is pretty good. The one you put mm. on there, the first one. Oh, those pineapples are amazing. It is wow. pineapple season. I mm. have about I have tons of pineapples. It's mango season blowing too. up in my yard right now. Okay, so mix her up. I don't know. I might just eat all these pineapples. Don't really take good. them out. I haven't had one yet. Mm. Oh, I was about that for. <laughs> So what do you think? It's almost good. like a pad thai salad, I would call. I guess the fact that it's cold makes me think salad. Uh, my initial thought on any of this is it was a little pricey. This pad thai was thirteen dollars. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, it's it's veg, it's vegan. It's it's you know, I mean, I understand eating healthy is going to cost. Eating healthy cost more. I'm like taking all the. Because guess what? Cheap food. <laughs> Sucks. Ah, this doesn't cut very good. There mm. you go. Brah. What are those noodles? Those are different. You got zucchini, the glass mm -hmm. rice noodles, and what's the other one? Okay, pardon my fingers. I've got to find out. I'm all what over the place. This? What is this? This is some kind of vegetable. There's an onion. Mm -hmm. Well, my favorite is, is that pineapple. And the rice noodles. I kind of like them. The zucchini's pretty Ew. good. Yeah, didn't tell you. Hmm. This is such a surprise. Our stuff's all like intertwined here. It is. It's a little hard to eat. This is messy. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the noodles are making everything fling. This is pretty good. It is pretty good. I like the. It's not amazing. I like the first dish way better. Yeah. Yeah. The crab cake. Yeah. Get the more cake. No, well, I like the corn. I like the soup. I like the crab cakes. Um. This the pineapple in there is amazing. <laughs> Did you get a piece of pineapple? I mean, good pineapple is. I mean, that one kid in the St. Pete farmers market always sells the world's juiciest pineapple or whatever. They are pretty good pineapples, so... Oh, that's nothing. That pineapple's nothing compared to my pineapple. Mm -hmm. When the pineapple gets... Thank you. Gets to uh, ripen on the plant, turns into a whole another animal. I, I'll i give pineapple to people, and um, they won't believe it because it's not like the pineapple you get in the store. And what, oh, we saved... We saved the best for oh, last. Pineapple. We got the... Um, pineapple? Eggplant... ELT. They should call it the ELT. Eggplant. That is for you. An avocado. Alright. Alright, well that was good. I mean I would eat it, but I wouldn't come here for that. Alright, so now we have the Abo BLT. Abo, that's a restaurant. Avocado thing. BLT. Came in a box and then it's wrapped. Hmm. You do the unwrapping while I get rid of these sauces. I am curious what they're using for 
bread. We got a lot going on here today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of components. And they wrap this because if you are not careful, this sucker is going to fall apart. Yeah. Well, the eggplant certainly looks like bacon. It does. <laughs> oh, and I believe this is a, um, what I've seen is a um, lavash, I think. Kind of like a flatbread. Somewhere between a flatbread yeah, and a tortilla. Know. Yeah, careful. Oh. Careful. All right, this is the, looks pretty good. I like the bacon. I don't know if you can see the bacon and the bread. Shredded romaine. Fresh sliced uh, tomato, and I don't know if there was a sauce. There's got to be some kind of like mayo on here. I just want to try that bacon. Right? Yeah, here's eggplant bacon. I guess it's just dehydrated. Well, Nothing else. I thought they sauteed or something. It's got to have some seasoning on it. Well, no, it's got to be raw. All right. So it can't be cooked. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Well, I'm gonna do the. Whole I like eggplant though, so. Whole I, here. It has a definitely. A, I can see the bacon. The more you chew it, the more it does turn into eggplant. But right away, I don't know if they're adding any salt or anything to it. Or whether they would or not. There's no seasoning on the sandwich. Would they put salt? Is that considered, like, still be vegan? Is the salt allowed? Or? I'm pretty sure you can salt. Well, salt and pepper, I don't know. At the very bare minimum, I always salt and pepper. Everything. I like it. Yeah? This is your kind of thing, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, it, I mean, I BLTs, you know, I have lots of experience with it. And that's good. I, I just tasted garlic. There's garlic on it. Um, there's some kind of spread. Um, some kind of spread. Oh, it's a, oh, sun dried tomato. That's oh, what I'm tasting. Nice. Right. Yeah, sun dried tomato pesto. Oh, it says it on there, huh? Alright, so the BLT was $13. Mm hmm. I would definitely go out of my way for that one. Very good. Hmm. So it's all just a matter of what you like and what you think is worth it, you know? The Pad Thai was $15. Mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't order that again. The cheese enchiladas, I definitely want to try those. And the crab cake dinner was 13 That was good. Well, they are crab cakes after all. And, <laughs> and it came with that, that corn chowder thing. And then we did get a side of the corn chowder. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I do appreciate Did you finish that? What they're doing here. I did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we all like the BLT. Um, actually, of all the things, this one was my favorite. I guess the jicama cake was my favorite. I like the jicama cake. And the soup. And we're calling it jicama cake, right? Officially, it's the jicama cake. Yeah, we're, we're going jicama. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do appreciate what they're doing here. Raw. Vegan. So you got to be real creative. There's a lot of experimenting in the kitchen going on to be able to pull this off. And so I got to give them mad credit for that. And they are pulling it off. What would you do with the pad thai? To, to maybe... Um... My goodness. I might stick to just one kind of noodle. It just seemed like the three noodles just sort of confused everything. Yeah, the one noodle did not cut well. It didn't. Well, it would just it just made it slingy, kind of a mess. Right. Um, the zucchini went over well, and the rice noodle went over well. The veggies, they were just like a diced veg. So what else would normally be in a pad thai? Egg like just and a egg and um. You can't have bamboo, egg in there if it's bamboo shoots. Yeah. And then like the peanut. Peanuts, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Um, I mean, considering working with what they got, um, 
I guess they they did pretty good. <laughs> it just wasn't my favorite. That's all. That was it. The pad thai was the only thing. Eh. This was, you know, I kind of I have a thing about um, like greens. If the you're romaine. gonna use the romaine, I wouldn't have shredded it because it's just falling apart. Right. You know, I would have kept it as a leaf, and I would have put. I like, like baby spinach myself. Things. I would have done because I'm always thinking about nutrition. So you're gonna get more nutrition out of a dark green leaf as opposed to romaine. But so, that being said, mm -hmm. some of the best BLTs I've had had iceberg in there. I, I don't eat iceberg, but man, on a BLT that I crunch, crunch, yeah, is just so. And yeah. when you follow the guidelines of a real BLT, with you know just lettuce and you know iceberg lettuce, tomato, mm -hmm. little mayo, and crispy bacon, yeah. oh, so no, good. It's, it's perfect classic combination. I do love a good BLT. I, I love this. Yeah. I think it's good. All right. Well, I think that's it. I think we. Um, Unless there's anything Cider else you... Cypress Press Cafe. Mm -hmm. um, there's two I, locations, I one in Naples and one in St. Pete. I would come back and explore more things on the menu. The first glance at the menu, I was like, whoa, these guys, they have a lot going on. They have definitely worked very hard on the collaboration of ingredients to pull off, you know, these dishes. And I, I definitely give them a lot of credit for what they've done. So I would recommend it for sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm going on ba based on taste. I mean, and I know a little bit about nutrition, but not as much as on here. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as taste goes, yeah, everything was good. The pad thai tasted fine. I just thought they needed to work on it a bit. But the, the everything was super delicious and obviously super healthy. So yeah. um, I'm digging it. So, all right, that's it. And hope to catch you next episode. Thank you for joining. Been. Here's an update. Go ahead. <laughs> Here's an update. Uh, the pad thai sitting in the sauce for longer than two minutes. Um, I think it got better because <laughs> it sat. It Because it was tossed. We had both sauces on there and it was tossed. And it got to, and I, I got to mix it up. And yeah, that's, and that's actually how it's served. So I can see the girl sitting outside having her lunch. She ordered that, and it came out already tossed, dressed, and you just start digging into it. And that is how it should have been. <laughs> That's why we were, like, so confused when we first got it. We were like, we had the sauce, and then it just was, like, kind of a mess. But it's much better when it's tossed and, and done right. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're taking back what we said about the pad, pad thai. It's, um, it's better. It's better. And that's why we film this stuff the way we do. We go in here, we order food. And we don't know about it. We're not experts on on some stuff. I know I'm not. And so <laughs> you're seeing what we see when we get it. This so. is a great first time experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Till next Dude, you could drink that sauce pretty good. There's a straw right here if you. What do you straw for? Because you're gonna spill it all over yourself like you just did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should have got that on film. Mm -hmm. Here, do it. <laughs> oh, I think it did. I think it was filming the whole time. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I think so. <laughs> I just drink the sauce if it's still filming. <laughs>